What's up guys, my name is Wilson, also known as Designed by Will, and in today's video I'm going to be designing some merch for Giveon. All the techniques used in this video have been broken down in my past few videos step by step, so make sure to go down through my catalogue because this video will be fast. In relation, all the assets for this project will be on my website, link down in the description below. I got a bunch of free and premium assets for you guys, so make sure to check them out if you want to follow along. And before we start, make sure to go down and leave a like just to support the kid and check me out on Instagram at Design by Will. Now with every good design, the first thing is to go into Illustrator and play with some fonts. Um, I don't really have an art direction for this, but the main color is going to be red. So you could say my art direction is just going to be basically following the color red. Now I have played with a bunch of font fonts. Um, and different types of typography just to teach myself in that realm of design because mainly I'm just on Photoshop and stuff like that. Now again, if you guys wanted to follow along, make sure to go down in the description and check out the recent asset pack I just dropped. It's for the Illustrator files. It's a bunch of stars and a bunch of little graphics that I use all the time, especially with client projects. If you want to be the most efficient you can be, having a custom asset pack that you make yourself or buying an asset pack is essential and crucial, especially when you're in the design realm, because you want to cut down on time as much as you can so you can move forward to the next project. Like I said, I didn't have a vision for this project. So a bunch of these titles were just off the top. Like I just, I went in and just did a bunch of draft titles because when I am designing for like a client or something, I usually start with a title or a logo or a font because it's a lot easier to design around that rather than just words. So once I got that down pat, designing the other stuff around the font or the typography is so easy for me. So that's what I always design first. I think one of the hardest parts for me in terms of design is probably finding fonts. Like once I find the font, it's it's fine. Like if there was like a font picker for like the design aesthetic you're going with, I would pay top dollar for that because if I can cut down the amount of time I spend finding fonts, oh my gosh, I would have like a hundred designs a minute, I swear to God. Now that we got our titles picked out and we have a fair understanding of what we're doing. I just decided to use all the titles because they're all unique and I want to use them all separately for a different piece of clothing. Now, yet again, let me disclose that I did not have a 
design idea or brief for this project this is all off the top of my head usually when you are doing client work you want to list down some key points and elements and create a design board before you start the project but for this one i just wanted to have fun and showcase all my work because the best way to find new clients is to showcase what you can do because you can always talk about what you can do but you have to show what you can do because actions do speak louder than words This first design that I'm doing is going to be based around vintage bootleg design. They're very popular. And for me, it's like second nature at this point. I do so much of them for clients and just for personal projects. With Giveon, his whole thing is nostalgia. Like when you look at his music videos and stuff like that. As you can see, I'm just cutting out the images. With this image, I wanted to make it the main focus foreground. Yet again, if you guys do want to learn about this stuff make sure to go check out my first ever video actually or even check out the most recent video I did a little breakdown but it is a little bit quicker but if you want more in depth make sure to check out my first video because it breaks down my step by step and how to design things and also make sure to check out the little Uzi Vert um, concept project that I did also on my page that one breaks down a lot of things that I do in here all the other images that are not the artist are from Unsplash everybody knows about Unsplash if you don't know about Unsplash you're living underneath a rock so you can find high quality images this is not sponsored by the way high quality images that are pretty easy to download and are pretty amazing as long as you don't use like the full image and you do use elements of the image you have full rights i guess i think that's the term i don't know if you're all scared about that make sure to go read the, the fine print because don't trust me <laughs> I also ended up using the rose petals throughout the design project as another motif or element that's consistent, bringing it back to that red color that I told you guys about, because yet again, we don't have a brief for this design, so we're just going off what we can see. Lovely. So now that we got the first design out, I have a uh, understanding of what I want to do with this project. I want to keep it within that nostalgia realm, but also make it look more modern with the typography. So anything that's simple 
it has a more modern twist but anything with a lot of elements into it it has that nostalgia look but i also still want to keep the nostalgia look within the simple elements too because it's good to correlate those items together and make the whole project look like one unit rather than different little scattered pieces but it honestly depends to depends on you because having little scattered designs for like a t-shirt is better because to me it shows uniqueness in each product Now we're doing the second design. I'm using a cassette to relate back to his music. And yet again, let me, this is the 10th time I'm saying it, nostalgia. He's very into that old school stuff. So I'm using this cassette tape because it represents old school music. With this cassette tape, you're gonna see me go through like a hundred different ways of doing it. I ended up going with a more, uh, you know, as you guys would just see. I didn't go away. I didn't end up going with that one, but yeah, you guys will see what I did. With this design, I wanted it to reflect his main song, which is on his new mixtape or album, um, Heartbreak Anniversary. It's a very good song, I really enjoy it. So I just got the first lyrics from that and put it underneath the mixtape to then correlate to the music. Like it's falling out of the, the, the what's it called? The cassette? I'm pretty sure it's called a cassette. As you can see, I did use the rose petals like I said I would to just bring that element back in. Now that is the second design. So now we're going to move on to the third one. With this design, I just wanted to bring back in those flowers, but I wanted it to reflect his music. His music is a lot of heartbreak and leaving someone behind. So I'm using the flowers as an element of love, but I'm gonna make them burn because I wanted to show like he's leaving somebody behind. So he's burning that bridge of love, if you know what I mean. Oh, that sounds really deep. But anyway, it just looks cool. Let me just say that. It just looks really cool. <laughs> Now that we got all our designs down, we're gonna go into finally doing some mock-ups. Now, the thing about mock-ups, everyone has seen me do a mock-up. If you haven't seen me do a mock-up, please go watch my previous videos. And the mock-ups that I'm using are from my website, at Design by Will, they're the premium clothing mock-ups. And it's pretty easy, all you have to do is put your design on top, make a clipping mask, and then set that clipping mask to one of the blending options. I forgot which one I put on. It might be overlay, or it might be two of them, overlay and um, lighten. But yeah, if, if you don't know how to do this, please go watch my previous videos. Or you can purchase some mock-ups. There are some really good mock-ups coming out. Now that we got our mock-ups ready, 
I'm going to present to you guys the final designs. So I had them in packs. Basically, I had a dark mode version of the light mode designs that I did, but they are all the same designs. Okay, so the first design we have is the bootleg wrap t-shirt on the white slash cream mock-up. These turned out really dope. I really like how the colors look on the mock-up and it just makes it look more vibrant, especially the blacks. They make them, it just makes it stand out more on that cream mock-up. We also have the full logo back design and I love how the gradient just looks with the different titles and fonts I used. I really like this last minute choice and with this one I'm probably going to be using it in a client draft in the near future because just the design and how it looks is just really dope. Next, we have the hoodie collection. Yet again, supporting the same two designs as the last slide, but in this one, we also have the cassette tape design, which is really dope. It just matches the vibe of the rest of them. And for all the designs being completely different, they all flow together really well. And that's the beauty of creating something. You never know the outcome, but this one was just for sure a good one, honestly, if you can just tell. Lastly, we have the vintage wash designs with all black and the faded designs. My least favorite is probably going to be the one with the burning flowers, even though it had the best meaning. I feel like the design was rushed, but all in, it's still a nice design and yes, you can see the rest of them in it. You can see it reflecting, but if I had to do this um, project again, I would cancel out that design if it was for a final like mock-up or sending out drafts to a client, but this was just for fun. All in all, the project turned out really nice and everything just flows, especially the white, the cream on the other colors, like cream on the red and black are just contrasting colors and it just looks really nice. Anyway, if you guys like the designs, make sure to go down and hit the like button for your boy and make sure to just check out the links in the descriptions for any of the assets used in the video and also my IG where you can contact me for personal projects if you're starting a brand or just want something dope. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and as always, see you later and I'll see you next time, I guess. Peace.